Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourselves as well as others, seeing things for what they truly are and being able to heal and move past all the things that was sent to break you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or if you're just up telling me about your empath again, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has just been very informative to you and gave you some good vibes that you know a person is going through some trying times right now needs to really hear please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me as well as yourselves and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video uh, today my um, meditation music that I'm listening to is called 432 Hertz, Let Go of Mental Blocks, Cleanse Self-Sabotage, Fear, and Release Inner Struggle and Overthinking. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas are speaking and envisioning through the 5D. Yes, I've been doing that a lot, you know, because it's just like sometimes I could be talking to y'all and it's like I'm looking straight through the computer and I'm just like, what is going on? And it's just like a lot of y'all are doing the same things. Also, it's just like when you're speaking to people, you're like, it doesn't feel like everything is looking fake to you could be going like this. And it feels like I've never took acid in my life. But it just feels like I'm on some kind of LSD trip. I ain't never did no LSD, period. But I said, no, uh-uh. This is just crazy. And it's just like I'm becoming one with my higher self. I'm able to elevate. I'm elevating myself as I'm being more open to my gifts and, you know, doing a lot more research, letting myself heal. You know, if you're allowing yourself to heal, you know, even though it takes some time. So don't be hard on yourself, you know, because there are some times we're like, oh, why can't I just stop being mad at this? Oh, why, why can't I just stop thinking about this? It's all a process. You know, your mind is getting, you know, you're training your mind to come out that dark place. Because with us as Hayokas, especially empaths, Hayokas, you know, um, I mean empaths, but Hayokas is just like, we, we take things the hard road. Like, why are you doing that? You're doing too much. But yet, that's what we do. <laughs> we do too much. We're just extra, extra. And it's just like we are elevating ourselves into something that is so magical that you can't even put your, 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 put a label to. And you know, you know us, we always trying to find research. We, we always trying to do double the research, like we're Sherlock Holmes and all this Inspector Gadget, whatever you're trying to do. But it is just like seeing things for what they truly are, seeing people without their mask on, being able to come in tune with the things that you need to come in tune with. And it's a beautiful feeling, even though it might be like a euphoric feeling, because right now I'm feeling so euphoric, and especially with the meditations I've been using. That other one, last one, it just opened up all type of stuff. I'm like, ooh, what kind of Pandora's box did y'all open today? And I'm just like, dang, I don't even smoke weed no more. But if I knew this is what it felt like, I would have never smoked weed in my life. But I'm just like, God, dog. No. You know, excuse me, y'all, but still. You, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's just like it got me on that feeling like I was smoking marijuana. And it was just like, I'm seeing things like, okay, this is just the story that I'm just playing in at this time. And it's something that, you know, I already, you know, because things are starting to look deja vu to me. Like I've done this before, or I've seen myself doing this before. And you're probably feeling that way. Like things are starting to look deja vu to you. Like you, you know yourself to do it, but it's just like, wow, why do I feel like I've done this before? Or I, I knew about this part and it's just like this is a part I just had to play for this time for me to be able to get where I need to get at that I've been trying to get at for the last few zillion years because we're doing everything that we have done before over and over again except we were just in different spots we're in playing different actors you know different you know people characters in a play that's what it really feels like to me and it's like 
oh, okay, I got it, you know, I'm, you know, just stay cool and chill about it, you know, because there's up times, I'm just like, God, why I got to go through this? How long do I got to keep going through this? When can I go where I want to go? Because I don't want to be here no more. You have to just play this part. You know, you, like I told y'all before, we're breaking the generational curse. We're busting out out of karmic relationships, karmic curses. All of this is something that we already knew we were had to do again because we've done it before. It's that we're just playing different roles in each other's lives. You know, the more people we meet, there's a lot of people that felt like they know me. We do know each other. It's that we play different parts in each other's lives where we have connected before. So it's just like a lot of things are starting to come into play where it feels like it's like you have done this before. You're seeing things in a psychedelic way. You know, you're you know, you're just looking like you're floating or whatever. I'm just like, whoa, this is just trippy. And it feels good to be able to know that everything is going to be okay. You just had to go through these situations. You have to be patient and just rest and assure on divine timing. You have to go through certain hardships to be able to explain like this is an aha moment. You'll get an aha moment like, oh, okay, I got this, you know? So it, it's just like you had to do these things. I had to play my part. I had to go through all this crazy mess to be able to understand what I have to understand, but knowing that I had to help a lot of people in before because I mean you had to for the stuff you're going think about the stuff that you're going through right now you had to be a bad mama jamma and I, I I haven't said that since my mom you know Skippy was a bullfrog like my mama used to say but you you had to be a bad mother shut your mouth in your last life for you to be going through the hell you going through now because you're like you know what yeah I can do that yeah put me in that part I'll be right there and I'm gonna get up out of it and I'm gonna help heal people all around here and do this and this and this and that you already seeing the parts that you were already supposed to play and you picked the most roughest toughest situations to go through because you know you were that bad ass back from the before because you're like you know what if this is what I have to go through just give it all to me at one time I don't know what the hell you were thinking when you did that but hey obviously you knew back then you know what you were doing because you had to go through it that's 717 so I already know that my dad's around with the twin flame situation but know that you had to go through this know that you're on that level to that 5d seeing things for what they truly are knowing that you had to go through these you had to go through these gauntlets of hell to be able to help humanity as well as the people around you and yourself as well so knowing this is what you had to go through is what you had to go through and seeing it for what it is and knowing you will be a okay so sorry for y'all with me rambling and stuff like that because this is really trippy to me i'm just like dang you know, not to be, you know, consenting on smoking marijuana or anything like that. But if anybody has ever smoked weed before and been on that level, like, hey. <laughs> and that's what it felt like because I'm all in euphoric feelings right now. And it's a beautiful feeling to know that, you know, everything is going to be okay. It might seem crazy right now. I don't have all the answers. I'm just, you know, I'm just a messenger to be able to deliver that, you know, everything is going to be okay. We just got to go through this crazy process. It might put us through some changes, but you know what? It'll, it'll make you come out very stronger than you actually realize. So be patient and things will come into play exactly when it's supposed to be. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I'm about to go on me a little beautiful nature walk and just get all my thoughts together and just walk this off because it, it really feels crazy to me. Um, it's a blessing to be able to go through through this and experience it, but it's, it feels weird. So uh, let me give my post shout out to Beat 'Em Back, Sheila Lopez, and Art Phillips. Much love to y'all. Send y'all love and uplifting blessings. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing I am and other people are praying for your better days. So I will see y'all in my next video. Drop me a line. Let me know if you're feeling this way. If you've been jumping in and out of the 5D. If you've been feeling like you're elevating into this person that you always meant to be. I would love to know. I'm not going through this by myself and the other people can relate. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. And even subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love. Peace. And be wild.